What's up, y'all? It's Liam, also known as Inip. What the fuck is that? So while browsing the internet, I stumbled across a man named a Vampiric, and he has created some monstrosities, some, some Dark Souls enemies that don't actually exist, thankfully. And I thought I'd grab a few of them, share them here. I'll leave his links down below. I highly suggest go checking him out, go follow him, go show him some love. Even though he has mined my deepest nightmares for these creatures, even Satan deserves <laughs> some followers. Yeah, all right, let's go. Coming in first is this nightmare right here. I'm sure if you guys have heard of this or seen this, this is the bonfire mimic. Oh, God. Actually, um, I was talking to Terra Mantis and he was talking about how uh, one of the people over from or Bandai Namco has mentioned that they're not going to do Bonfire Mimics because they want, don't want to betray our trust. So that's very nice of them. Bonfire Mimic, imagine that you fought through 15 minutes of enemies and obstacles and traps and you see that bonfire in the distance. You see that light glimmer and you run to it, you sit at it without hitting it and you get eaten. And everything. Everything is gone. Including your trust and your soul and your heart and it's you just want you just want I don't I don't I don't I don't Elite Anor Londo Arches is the next piece of art we have here not as much as the nightmare as the bonfire mimic of course basically the idea is that even a fucking crossbow anymore look at that thing basically the idea here is um he they shoot three arrows instead of one arrow so while you're running up the thinnest path in any game known to man you can have these guys shooting at you instead so have a couple of them set up you have six arrows coming at you per second instead of the, the normal one. See, I didn't have much trouble with the Anolondo archers, but if they look like this fucker who is holding one of the scariest looking things I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of this one. Next up we have the Hexagoblin Basilisk Stalker Rider. What a mouthful. This one isn't too bad. You know, the basilisks by themselves aren't that intimidating uh, once you realize they're Shit. Basically, they just jump up in the air and they throw the, the curse gas at you. And if you get cursed, you know, that sucks, man. But you just got to get better at the game. And then they have this guy on this one of those bullsack guys from Dark Souls 2 riding on top. Now we're talking talking business. So I'm not sure if the Basilisk will be jumping around as well, shooting out the smoke. And then him shooting the little beams as well. But this one isn't that bad. This this is I could see this being an enemy in a, in a future game or the DLC or something. I don't think we're getting any more Dark Souls here. But... I like this one. I like this one. So you know when you were running through, I believe it was the Undead Crypt in Dark Souls 2 and you ran up against the wall and you didn't realize it wasn't a wall and it was actually just a big motherfucker holding two big shields up. So imagine that, um, but this time he has arrows rapidly firing out of those shields. I don't know if he'd wait for you to come up to him and then fire him or he'd fire him from a distance. Either way, this is a bit of a shit fest. Although this isn't that bad because I don't know how he's going to reload these crossbows behind his shield. He'd have to like put the shield down or something. Not so bad. This this is a, a little nightmare. This is a baby nightmare. Yeah, fuck everything about this. This is the blue smelter demon and the red smelter demon combined. This is the Siamese smelter demons. It's actually the flexile smelter demon. I don't want to see either of these fuckers again. And I definitely don't want to see them mashed up together like this. So let's just... Never look at this again. Now this is where the mimics get interesting. Here we have a mimic ladder. This is actually an amazing idea. Mimic bonfire maybe not, but mimic ladder. You could have like a slimy ladder or you could have the ladder kind of breathing or moving a little bit because it looks like a tongue, I'm guessing in this picture. Terrifying, absolutely terrifying. If you jump onto a sweaty ladder, I don't know why his tongue is sweaty. If you jump onto a wet ladder and you start climbing up it and all of a sudden you can't control your character anymore and he's curling up and he eats you, that is true fear right there. Boys, that's fear factor. Is that still a show? Jesus. But he lo that looks badass up there. Then I guess they'd have to have a staircase or another ladder to get up there because once he eats you, you can't take that ladder anymore. But this is a fucking awesome idea. Please, from... Put this in the DLC. Put one in the DLC somewhere for Dark Souls 3. I love it. <laughs> How did this one get in here? Uh, moving on. The final mimic idea is the corpse mimic. I, st I like this better than the bonfire. Not as much as the ladder. The ladder is genius. This is very similar to like a chess one. It's got a, like a body attached to its tongue and you think it's an item. Turns out it ain't an item, bitch. It's a tree with a mouth and you're dead. Cool idea. Not as cool as the ladder. Better than the bonfire. I like this one. 
It's a little less predictable. See, if, if they added bonfire mimics, you just hit every bonfire, you know? But tree mimic, corpse mimics, you'll forget about those corpses. I like this one. And you know what's on the corpse? A fucking soul of a forgotten shit lord. Number one, Pinwheel Dad. Guys, I don't, I don't get this one. You know, for explain this one to me. And the winner for the most badass design on the list, of course, is the Uber Pursuer. Look at this beast. In the, if you play Dark Souls 2, you know who the Pursuer is. Looks like he's grown a few more arms and found a few more weapons. He's always had that bunch of weapons on his back, and it looks like he still does there, but this would be an awesome fight. Maybe different phases, he uses different weapons. Maybe the hands on his back could be like phantom or ghost hands, and he keeps swapping out. It looks awesome. This is, this is sweet. This isn't scary at all. This is a badass boss fight. Exploding Havel. So it looks like we have a rupturing hollow from Dark Souls 2 here. Has found himself some Havel's armor and two Havel's great shields and that's that's his technique he's just gonna keep jumping and you exploding except the exploding doesn't hurt him or kill him this looks like an absolute piece of shit to fight and I never want to see this in my life thank you Capra Demon Wheel this isn't as bad as it sounds because you know skeletons they're kind of goofy right you can kind of when they spin around in the wheel it does look kind of funny how is this guy gonna be spinning around that's <laughs> that's something I want to see animated that's a 3d model I want to see rolling around that is not threatening in the least. As an idea, I do not want to live on a planet where this thing exists, but in practice where a Capra Demon is spinning around in a wheel and his little skull helmet is spinning around the wheel and gets maybe a little bit dizzy, that's that's a funny world. <laughs> that's a good world I want to live in. <sighs> nope. And finally we have the Poison Ironclad Warrior, one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle guys, and he has the poison statues on his back, like those turtles or the, just the statues in general. This is Poison City we're entering here. I don't. This is a really cool design. Um, sounds like an absolute nightmare because every time you get hit by poison, you do that little stagger, and it looks like he's got about 17,000 statues on his back ready to fire. Uh, you could kind of convert this guy to one of the cursed ones as well in the DLC. It does not sound good at all. That does not sound fun. But yeah, this this guy looks cool. Much better than that last picture I looked at. I deleted that picture off my computer when I finished this video. Straight up. Thank you all for watching this dumb video. Go check out Vampiric's art. That's what this video was about. Go support that man on his DeviantArt or whatever, whatever link I leave down below. We're back to weekly videos now, ladies and gentlemen. So prepare your butts for some more Dark Souls 3 videos. I have finished the game pretty thoroughly at this point, so prepare for some enemy and boss videos in the future as well as some other cool videos that I have ideas on. They're not that cool, let's be honest. If you have any ideas of Dark Souls lists you want to see, leave them down below, or Dark Souls videos in general, leave them down below and I'll see what I can do. Remember to leave your favorite enemies and bosses down there as well. Maybe they'll get on the list. You never know. You never know what's going to happen next on this channel. And if you want to watch some more Dark Souls related content, be sure to go check out Aiden, aka A Kind of War. Fellow Australian made a video covering the whole Dark Souls franchise. It is brilliant. He's a funny dude. Go check him out. Go subscribe. Go drink him. Jeez. Thank you all for watching. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and whatever you want to do, baby. Yeah.